This video is brought to you by nobody. Nobody is a great answer to the everlasting question, does anybody like me? Nobody will pay your bills. Nobody will make you happy. Nobody can make your dad come back. Call now and get nobody to answer you. Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we have All Stars Generation 4 continued with Fantina, the ghost type from Hard Home City. And the funny thing is that I actually didn't get many replays this time, I guess, because I said, you know, guys, suddenly one replay per person, people were like, oh, come, I'm shy now, but anyway, here we have a few replays, and then I'm gonna play my own this time, so, let's just jump right into it. Start with the ace, Miss Magus versus a Darkrai. And the Darkrai is a huge problem to this team because it just decimates everything. So that's exactly what happens. He misses Hypnosis though, so that's pretty bad. An explosion doesn't quite pick the kill, but there is Dasknor. And Dasknor has Shadow Sneak. But the problem is wasting two Pokemon to kill one. That's kind of bad. That's kind of bad if you're asking me. And then Kyogre goes for Thunder for some reason. Doesn't go for Origin Pulse. I don't know why. Also goes for Earthquake. So, um, that's pretty weird. But we go for Curse. We got the Apicot Berry. And as I always said, I don't necessarily understand the reason for getting Apicot Berry or, um, the other one, which raises the defense, I think, Ganlon. Because, like, if you're already low enough and you don't really have recovery, then what are you gonna do? I guess Pain Split kind of works, but then again, you know, eh, you can get better recovering than, than Pain Split, right? So here we go for uh, Shadow Ball on the Espeon, goodbye. Actually, we're not going, we're not doing that bad, is what I was about to say. So you put that thing to sleep, right? Quasa comes out. And Nightmare, we cannot Nightmare, so that's kind of probably it's also Mega Rayquaza, which basically means we are in AG, which I didn't realize up until this point, so this Mega Rayquaza kind of made me go, whoa, okay, I thought he's gonna go Mega Place again, but I guess not. So that Spirit Tomb lifts that Dragon Ascent, that massive Dragon Ascent. Holy shit, we all know how powerful the Dragon Ascent is. Sucker Punch or Shadow Ball into Sucker Punch actually destroys the Mega Rayquaza, which is not bad. And then he goes for low kick with Blaziken? When do you realize what Pokemon you're facing, my dude? Okay, Stone Edge is better. I don't know why he didn't just go for like, you know, Fire or Flame Flare Blitz or Flamethrower even, whatever. So there we go, Recover on the Stone Edge, I guess kind of to test out. Okay, low kick again. Low kick on a... why? Why? Just simply, why? Okay, Sleeping Deoxys versus Jellicent. And we have Water Spout, and we go for that Water Spout, dealing a lot of damage, actually. And he wakes up, he goes for Taunt. We don't really care, because we're just gonna go for Shadow Ball and kill him. So, cool. That was replay number one. So this guy actually says, Awesome team, love ghosts. So let's go. We have Dasknoir versus Jirachi. Also, his team is full of the mythical Pokemon, I guess. I don't, uh, I don't necessarily know if that's all, no, wait, there's more, there is, okay, never mind, so, uh, yeah, so the guy is actually talking in the chat about, you know, that being Fantina and all that, so, here we go, Iron Head to the Dust Snore, actually takes nothing from that, look at that, takes absolutely zero, so that's cool, so we are able to kill the Jirachi with our Dust Snore, and we have Spdef plus two, plus one, I don't necessarily know why, okay, so we just go for Shadow, I was like, okay, Tail Glow probably, so maybe that paints a little bit better than the Shadow Sneak, but I, okay, that's fine. So Manaphy goes to sleep, we Nightmare it, which is actually pretty cool, because look how much it does, it does quarter of health, so with Curse, it's actually pretty decent. And that Manaphy is a dead Manaphy, which is A-OK, -okay. a Mew comes out, and is going to sleep. It just a nice and even even synchronized doesn't really work, I guess. Okay, and the nightmare kind of doesn't work. And dazzling gleam, why would you dazzling gleam a Gengar? I'm not exactly sure. That's better. Shadow Ball, why not just psychic it? You know. But anyway, now you get closed on the psychic, which is kind of funny. Oh, and the Shadow Ball, I mean. Oh, well, Psyshock, see that he could have done. Anyway, that's dead Mew. Just pretty cool, Victini. 
Victini also takes a bunch of damage from that. Hidden power doesn't kill us, even though it was super effective. And now he also gets speed, so hey, look at that, Victini is dead. There's a Shaman, and everyone knows what Shaman does. Seed Lairs, or... no, it goes for just a Psychic, never mind. And this one has a Life Orb, so I'm assuming it also has Rest or something? And it goes for say, Synthesis, okay, so it has Synthesis. Now it goes for Seed Lair, massive damage as always, and we will wisp it for whatever reason. And we come... okay, Psychic, a pretty decent damage, Explosion, goodbye Shaman. And now it's a Celebi. Versus two ghost types, and I think we all know what's gonna happen. Some toxic misses, shadow ball hits, does less than half, which is kind of okay. Okay, so it's a defensive syllabi, I assume, or spiritum is just that weak. And there we go. There's a shadow ball, and there's a protect going. Shadow ball hits, just kind of okay. Let's see what happens. Giga drain. I would have honestly just gone for Sucker Punch right there, but alright, so here's a Shadow Ball, and it's it gonna be Protect or not, it's no Toxic, and that's a Dead Celebi, cool. This one is actually super funny, because it's actually Byron's team on the opposite side, so the next gym leader we're gonna have to do, but it's already his team, so it's funny, Fantina versus Byron, even though Byron's team looks like... Dawn. Also, it's I am new meta. I just noticed that it's I am new meta. Okay, so here's some kind of dude who wanted to jump the gun of Fantina and just go to directly to Byron, but I uh, that's okay. So Agron goes for head smash, massive damage because of you know 150 base power, but it doesn't take down the Gengar, which is funny. So Magnazone versus Spirit Tomb. And the Magnazone goes for Miracoat, so not really, boy. Also, why would you Miracoat on a Pokemon that has 1 HP? I do not know that. Anyway, he goes for a Bastiodon. With a Balloon, we get to plus 4, and that Shadow Ball still doesn't really kill, because Sturtum is not the hardest hitter. Also, Metal Burst, for some reason, is faster. Is it, is it actually minus priority? I don't remember right now. Critical Hit just decimates. That's kind of sad, because we could have done massive damage. Anyway, Dusknoor and Earthquake does a lot of damage with that. That's, this is scary, and we miss a Will-O-Wisp. So Shadow Sneak has a last resort. Ah, kind of bad, kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of bad. That Astral is looking kind of bad. And then Shadow Ball, it actually lifts, goes for Rock Slide, dealing massive damage again. So that, that, that was a pretty dangerous spade turtle, no, spade mole, I mean. So we go for double calm mine, expecting him to, you know, to do his, his, his bajong, whatever the word is. So he bajonged out, and now here's a fortress, he takes some, some bajong from a psychic. Why didn't we exactly go for shadow ball? I don't know. But here's the water spout, that's a dead bajong, and then back comes the magnazone. And the Magnazone gets bajunked, a lot of damage, Murkoad kills us, and then I believe Drift Blim, okay, is about to go for Z. Oh, so this is a Supersonic Sky Strike, does 2 damage, 2 damage is awesome, Willow is misses, goes for Protect, we might as well, oh, Explosion happens, it gets protected against that, which is cool, and that Gengar goes for Hypnosis for some reason. And then Shadow Balls for a kill, exactly, so he was risky, risky, very, very risky. And then this guy says, lucky batch. Now this one is funny because he has four normal types versus our ghost type. So let's see, Stack Attacka. As you know, I hate Stack Attacka, but that's, that's kind of fun. Okay, Shadow Ball does a lot of damage to the Stack Attacka. And the Gyro Ball doesn't kill us necessarily, so that's a dead Stack Attacker. And as everyone knows, Stack Attacker, more like, yeah, good Pokemon. So here comes Pokemon, or Porygon, I mean, not Pokemon. Yeah, everyone is a Pokemon, so hey, stop judging that Porygon, alright? It's not its fault that it caused seizures in Japan. Anyway, Will O Wisp versus Toxic, hmm, I guess we're on the worst side right here, so Dusknoir goes for Curse. And it's funny because you actually can curse with ghost types on the normal type. So we got that Spadef. He gets damaged by both of those. So we're gonna go for Drift Blim actually. I don't necessarily know why because we just lost a lot of 
Oh, no, sorry, we lost the Epicot Berry, that was what I was gonna say. So, Drivelim gets toxic again. Acrobatics does absolutely nothing, but now it's about to kill it after the curse and the burn. So out comes Porygon Z, and we go for the Supersonic Sky Strike again, which does absolutely nothing. That's kind of sad. So, Z conversion. And now we're like, we are versus a normal type. Not anymore, we are versus an electric type, so cool, and that sucker punch actually does decent damage, I guess, at plus one defense, that's not too bad. And now we go for Shadow Sneak, 11 damage, Dusk Nord absolutely gets wrecked. Here is a Miss Magus, and Miss Magus is about to kill that Porygon at plus one, which is kind of funny, really, because I didn't expect it to kill at plus one, but I guess it does. So the Bearware goes for Earthquake for whatever reason and gets killed by two psychics, so there's one more normal type to worry about. But, as always, Porygon 2 is ultra bulky and also gets a crit, so that's kinda sad. And there's another Thunderbolt, we get the Salak, which is alright. And then drops the Spadef, but of course he has Recover. As everyone knows, we love Recover, we love normal types, and we love bulky normal types on this team, so... We drop his Spadef, he kills us, so now that's a good opportunity to go to Jellison and brine him. And brine does 130 power, or has 130 power when it's um, below half health, I believe. And that Ampharos is absolutely bulky. Critical hit that only 40%, wow. Okay, Shadow Ball here, Dragon Pulse, and we are faster, so Shadow Ball for the kill. Awesome! And then there's this battle, where the guy says, Mao, I would win, uh, please. Goes for Blaziken and Door, and we go for Brian, does massive damage, and then he gets plus one, and then he goes for Endure but fails, and Brian kills him, so... Nice, I guess. Awesome. And now, I'm gonna battle one battle with Fantina's team, and that's gonna be it. Alright, so- Oh! Oh my god, look at this team, guys! It's been a while, but I guess it's still applicable to Drapion. The, 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 oh my god. I'm even gonna like, nice team. You spout. Spout does a lot of damage, Crunch does a lot of damage, so we're gonna just grind now. Goodbye, cool. Okay, um, hmm. Agility or Felstinger? Agility, exactly. Don't kill me with Night Slash, even if it's a crit, or maybe you would have if it was a crit. Ah, okay. Now, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna Paint Split on his Night Slash. Paint Split, there we go! Cool! Very cool! For a curse, and kill ourselves in effect, I guess. But what can I say? So, he takes damage, he takes more damage. Unfortunately, that's what we have to do. So we take that hit from the Drapion. Disabled, nice, but it's also a dead Drapion now. So we have Gengars, too bad. It's like, it has Sash. Why doesn't it have Destiny 1? It's like this. Okay, so he's gonna go for... Um, okay. Priority, Uber 2019. Miss Magus, we're gonna go for a Mind. He's gonna go for exactly the same, I think. Yep. We're gonna go for one more mind, and he's gonna go for the same. No, he goes for seeds. Because we don't really have anything for him now. I think we have to boom on him, to be honest. Yeah. Let's boom. It doesn't kill it? Legit? It doesn't kill it? Legit? It doesn't kill it? Legit? And it's faster than sucker- Oh, of course it is faster. Okay, then GG. That's the battle. That's the battle we got, so that's the battle we're gonna go for, and that's cool. So we got destroyed by my own new meta team. And he left. What? Did he even realize he- Oh, God. Anyway, so great. Awesome. That's it then. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.